What's up, everybody? I'm Casey Crump. And I'm Alexa Cheslock. Welcome to the Chatter Newscast. We are here to fill you in on what you need to know about what's going on at Recaster High School for the week of October 30th. In this episode, we will check on the latest headlines, examine the club scene, slam dunk into Comet Sports, ingest the lunch menu, explore the latest gossip from Guidance, and investigate the school facilities with a curious Comet. Now let's head on over to the headlines. The Homework Depot will be open in Mr. Stafford's room, number 310, from 3 to 4 p.m. on Wednesday, November 1st. The Homework Depot will be held in Mrs. Valiente's room, number 218, on Wednesday, November 8th. There is no Wilco on Friday, November 10th. Image Group will be coming Saturday, November 11th for winter sports. Now let's send it over to Mia and TJ with clubs and activities. Hey guys, I'm TJ. And I'm Mia, and we have all the latest clubs and activity news for you. The Art Club will have their next meeting on November 2nd in room number 607 after school. Come and learn how to create fluid art. It uses acrylic pouring techniques to create mesmerizing abstract art. The JV and varsity speech teams will begin their season on Saturday, November 18th at Peoria Richwoods High School. Is your morning boring? Are you trapped by the tyranny of terrible coffee? Have you fallen under the curse of sleep during your classes? Then have no fear, Dunkin' is here. The Comet Stop is selling Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee for just $3.50. Let Dunkin' save the day. The Strategic Games Club will be meeting on Monday, October 30th at 3 p.m. in room number 406. Recycling Club will have a meeting on November 2nd at 3. Come bring a friend or two to help make a difference. Anyone may join. The Science Club next meeting will be on Thursday, November 30th from 3 to 4 in Mrs. Benoit's room, number 210. The RCHS Drama Club presents The Adventures of Rose Red, Snow White's less famous sister, on Thursday, November 2nd, Friday, November 3rd, and Saturday, November 4th. All shows begin at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. The tickets are $10 for adults and $5 for students and senior citizens. Hope to see you there. Rose Red has just turned 13 and the pressure is on. What will she do to get famous like her sister Snow White? Everyone in the kingdom from her parents to her close friend Miss Muppet is pressuring her to get discovered. But Rose Red doesn't want to constantly be on the front page of the Grim Times, even if Bo Peep, Cinderella, and Goldilocks eat up the attention. In her struggle to choose between doing what everyone else wants and forging her own path, Rose Red can't help wondering if a girl who wants to just be normal can live happily ever after. That'll do it for this week's Clubs and Activities. Now let's send it over to Luke and Megan for the latest gossip from Guidance. Keep, Keep on, on clubbing, clubbing, Comets! Hi, I'm Megan Davis. And I'm Luke Leopold. Here to give you the latest gossip from Guidance this week. We have three lunch visitors this week. Illinois Wesleyan University will be visiting us during Comet time on Monday, October 30th. The U.S. Air Force will be visiting us during lunch on Wednesday, November 1st. And finally, the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee will be visiting us during lunch on Friday, November 3rd. If you missed the FAFSA workshop at RCHS, but would still like assistance in completing your FAFSA, JJC also hosts several workshops. You do not need to be planning to attend JJC in order to attend a workshop. To attend Discover JJC on Saturday, November 4th, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The 2018 MVS application deadline is November 27, 2017. The Elks National Foundation will be awarding 500 four-year scholarships to the highest rated applicant in the 2018 competition. Current high school seniors or the equivalent who are citizens of the United States are eligible to apply. Applicants need not be related to a member of the Elks. High school graduates are not eligible to apply. Applicants must be citizens of the United States on the date of their applications are signed. Sheet Metal Workers is having an open house on Wednesday, November 15, 2017. If you are interested in sheet metal and HVAC industries, we strongly encourage you to attend. Want to know more about the sheet metal industry? Then visit the link below. And that's all the gossip for now. Let's send it over to Mitch Perona in the Curious Comments. See, See you, you next week. week. Hi Comments, I'm Mitch Perona here with the Curious Comments. This week we're curious to know when our building was originally built. Your options are 1967, 1977, 1987, and 1997. I'll be back with the answers after a little lunch menu. 
Hello, my name is Mia Kuchar, and on Monday, October 30th, we will be having chili cheese fries or pizza. Hello, my name is Michaela Reinick, and on Tuesday, October 31st, we will be having hot ham and cheese and on a bun or ravioli with roll. Hello, my name is Cody LaGrange, and on Wednesday, November 1st, we will be having chicken patty on a bun or pizza. Hi, my name is Anna, and on Thursday, November 2nd, we'll be having walking tacos or corn dog. Hi, my name is Riley Countryman, and on Friday, November 3rd, we will be having popcorn chicken or pizza. I'm back with the answer. Our building was built originally in 1977. Fun fact, the previous intermediate school was a high school until they built the current high school. The Fall Sports Awards will take place on November 9th in the auditorium beginning at 6.30 p.m. Thanks for watching the Chatter Newscast produced by the Multimedia Journalism class. As always, remember to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And for your daily dose of Comet News, check out ReadCusterChatter.com. Have, Have a great, great week! week. Start it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks for watching the Chatter new, ca new cast. Mm -hmm. Image group will be. <laughs> Pressure is on. What will she do to get famous like her sister, Snow White? Everyone is in the kingdom. <laughs> <laughs>